the game updated and we now have access to the second anniversary rank again this is two out of five but honestly i'm hoping this one's slightly bit more difficult just because the first raid was actually really really easy right and not because i had gogeta obviously that's a factor but more so because since in the anniversary there was actually a bigger pool of anniversary units to pull from and literally all of them with the inclusion of last year's vegeto blue were all boost units it was super easy to get through the battle no matter who you used but hopefully this time we'll have a bit more of a challenge but anyway let's go over to uh actually events i was about to pick co-op by instinct but no it's not there anyway the number two anniversary raid against super Saiyan rose goku black so let's do it so the anniversary units are still boost units but this time instead of vegeto blue it's the lf super saiyan blue vegeta who uh can still hold his own on future if he wants to but honestly speaking i think we'll be fine with this team and especially because of the fact that it's a future and hybrid saiyan and none of the anniversary units are hybrid saiyan clearly we need to be using either vegeto or fuse Masu, and i think vegeto gets the biggest buff so we're gonna be using him anyway let's do it and also um i have vegeto at seven stars whereas i have fuse Masu at three so it kind of makes sense as to who i should be using anyway though hopefully this will go by smooth um as long as they have a boost unit i am more than willing to just pair up with them and just go from there and also i'm really hoping that people don't just quit you know what i'm saying like in the first raid tons of people would join in and people would just disconnect for no reason whether they do it on purpose or maybe it's probably an issue with legends i mean i'm pretty sure it's a mixture of both but still come here no send him out yo there the vegeta blue just like smacked him back into frame okay charge Okay, so this is going to be a bit more difficult just because, again, with um, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Nah, bro, you got to initiate that. Okay, uh, but Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, you're able to throw out two special moves guaranteed if you got one. So, yeah. Hey, I'll keep us damage. Final coming, help me, huh? Okay. This is going to be weird, too, because I'm so used to having Vegito. Oh, he's actually dead. Okay, it's gonna be just as easy, but I'm so used to having Vegito Blue be like a melee type that him not being that this time around is actually gonna throw me off just a little bit. But yeah, and we've got some crystals. Oh, uh, we got some metals too, but honestly speaking, the one thing that you're gonna wanna farm in this event are the Hoi Poi coins. I managed to get up to 600, which is actually really good, but of course, you wanna aim for 1000 so that way you can, you know get the uh, multi-c power and then buff up an elf unit anyway uh let's get into the next battle i'm hoping that i can at least get um another or not even another but hoi poi coins in general because we didn't get any uh during the first uh battle but if we're lucky enough then we can just farm this raid and again if it lasts for as long as the first raid did i think we'll be fine honestly like just grind out as many hoi poi coins as we can Honestly, I think what I'm probably going to do is try to aim for at least 100. Actually, no, I can't even do 100 a day because the raid won't last that long. So, just, I need to probably aim for, like, honestly, 200 a day. So, that's probably going to be, like, two hours worth of grinding. It's going to be a long process, but it'll definitely be worth it so I can get Gogeta up to, uh, oh. Uh, so I can get Gogeta up to, uh, six stars. Hello, are you going to use the move? There we go, because, yeah, Vegeta was not going to survive that crap. Okay, final flash. Start. Going in. Okay, I'm just stalling, hoping that you'll get the Dragon Ball card. There we go. All right, there we go. All right, so he will lead off with um, the attack, so... Which is unfortunate, because I really wanted to lead off, but, I mean, he dealt a lot of damage, so we're good all around. Okay, cool. Also, uh super random question have you guys been getting lucky with the dragon ball hunt at all let me know in the comment section below because i've been doing the hunt uh as often as i could and i only have one dragon ball just one and you have to get all seven in order to get those um sleeves oh nice we got some holy boy coins but you need to get seven just to get the sleeves 
or a penny wish for that matter and i just cannot seem to get any other dragon balls i get skip tickets i get crystals i get energy especially energy i get energy a lot so it's really really unfortunate but hope you guys are getting better luck with that so again let me know like your experience with this year's dragon ball hunt in the comment section below because though the items are good they're making it very brutal to get the dragon balls i i don't know why but yeah anyway uh this will be uh the final battle hopefully it goes by smooth from how things have been going we haven't had any issues at all so yeah It'd be kind of nice if somebody pulled up with a uh, few also have corrupted though that'd be kind of cool to kind of end it off because those would be all the future units in uh this event that actually get boosted but uh if not then it's just as long as it's a boost unit i'm good so yeah i don't know what's going on this thing loaded then connected and then loaded so i don't know what is going on right now uh hopefully i'm not stuck in a loop either because i do want to get through this okay cool i can live with that i can definitely live with this so final battle like i said again event is really really easy and again even if you have those particular older units you should be able to get through it just fine and if you were at least lucky enough to get one anniversary unit that's not uh, any of the ex units you should be able to run through this okay send him out something's in my eye okay oh he vanished i heard that i mean gogeta kind of going in too all right charge Okay, that should give me the last uh, Dragon Balls I need. All right, you big dummy. Lost all of your buffs. Smack. Okay, let him do that. I'm initiating it because I don't have a special move. It's time. Okay. I mean, and I just realized we're using, like, two of the strongest fusions. There we go. Although he should have given that to me. Oh, no, yeah. He should have given that to me. <laughs> Oh, we gotta work harder. Oh, we both tried to rush in, too. Oh! Oh. Oh, man, what? Alright, come here. Oh, nice! There we go, because I finally get to knock that out. So that... That's literally how it was in, um... The last... Uh... Raid video that we did. Oh, goodness, he's trying to let you finish. You got it, bro. Like, I mean, to be fair, though, it wasn't his fault that we didn't uh, knock out uh, Rosé. It's just, I really don't want to sit through this entire thing while trying to get these coins. So, for future reference, guys, look. Legendary finishing is cool and all. I'm all for it, but to a certain extent, right? When you're doing co-op, don't subject your buddy to having to deal with legendary finish unless it is absolutely necessary. Because I think of uh, the raid before the anniversary raid, we fought a unit that had endurance and we literally um the boost unit was uh i forgot who it was i, I actually forgot who we we're fighting and who the boost unit was but uh we had to lend legendary finish in order to actually end it quickly i rem uh super Saiyan 4 goku that was the unit that we had to use i forgot who the actual uh raid boss was but we had to use super Saiyan 4 goku so using his elf made sense because it nullified endurance that's why but if the if the boss doesn't have endurance don't subject your party to that it it's too it, we could have spent that time queuing up for another battle but anyway uh either way like this battle is super easy as long as you have one of the boost units you should be like nobody should be struggling with this at all but i do want to know what you guys think about this portion of the raid in the comment section below but with that being said i'm Kuba. like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video